Uh, first of all, I'd like to say uh, thank you to the family for uh, attending. Uh, what an honor it is to be out in uh, front of uh, here in Local 13 today. Uh, I'd like to correct Greg on one thing. The keeper of the records is Tony Salcido. That's, uh, <laughs> he's my uncle. That's how I came. From, uh, that's how we got here today. So, um, And I'd like to thank all the, uh, the, the invited guests and the honorees here as, as well. Um, on behalf of the Coast Committee, uh, uh, my co cohort, uh, Cam Williams, he's in the Northwest right now. We're getting ready for grain negotiations as well, so he could be here, as well as uh, uh, Willie Adams uh, sent his uh, regards to Greg. But uh, it's, it's sort of interesting listening to speakers. I wasn't preparing a speech and everything, but he, he never had anything written down. And it, uh, sometimes it's better from just let things flow from the heart. And talking about the history, and talking about the visions that Harry had. There was visions a long, long time ago. Some people say Eminem. Like it, love it, hate it, throw it in the trash. The Eminem is what created containerization. And where we lost work, we've gained work. We have never had so much registration in the past and people uh, uh, in that transition area. And we survived that. We survived the men and the machines, and it was supposed to make our jobs easier, and it did. I, was, I only used my, uh, my dad's uh, cotton hook on one, on one job, Long Beach 50, and there was only one squeeze left for every hatch. And it, depending on what the squeeze driver you had, you depend on how much you had to use that damn hook. So you hope you had a good squeeze driver, lift driver, and put the stuff away, and things wouldn't topple over. So, uh, but it did make our, our jobs much easier. Harry, in, in, in the 60s, uh, that the m and contract came out of the 60s. An important thing to find out, <clears throat> in 1966 contract, Harry Bridges and the, and the, uh, the, the committee they negotiated 8.111. And for those that you don't know what 8.1111 was, was the employer's right to automate a dispatch hall. What you see in here today is a result of 8.111. And David was a David was a sticker. He he didn't want anything to do with eight one one, one, fought it to the end. A few of us on the committee put this whole uh, uh, committee together, uh, developed a dispatch system, and this is what you have uh, uh, behind me today. First class, top notch system. We still have dispatch systems up and down the coast where you put a peg in a yes. little pegboard. And you put it in when you just dispatch, and they pull it out on the other side, and they send you to work. It's amazing. We dispatch in maybe one week what some ports dispatch in a whole year. And I am honored today to be here and talk to you about what Harry negotiated that emanated out of the M&M &M into the automated dispatch hall, which we control today. The employers don't control it. We control it with dispatchers. We went from four dispatchers to God knows 12, 16. We've increased our numbers at every part along the way. And I was happy to be a part of that. And as your Coast Committee man today, I'd, I'd like to again like to thank Greg and the Pensioner Group for uh, uh, inviting us down to, to, to say a few words. I am glad to see a statute as part of the, um, of the property here. On the original draft drawings, we did have a Harry Bridges um, piece it was on a and I, and Eugene I don't know if you remember me Eugene I, I came I came to you I'd like to thank you but can stand up please it's important that people know who you are yeah. this this really I mean he was this man was very patient with us when we first put the first drawing together and coming out of it and then politics got into play up uh, on on that drawing we got in front of our membership BMA got a hold of the plan plan uh, plan documents and you know here we are today, but we've got something today that I'm very proud of, and I'm glad that the pensioners uh, used you as, as, the, uh, as the architect for that. And I thank you, sir, very, very much. So, <clears throat> again, I'd like to thank the family and uh, thank the members of ILW Local 13 who are here today, as well as the pensioners and everywhere else. Thank you very much. Enjoy the statue.